Welcome back, everyone. If you'll notice, the bolt has turned red. I have re-recorded this in 2022. Um, as I have moved to these bolt diameter stretch actions, the selection sets became a little trickier. And in the prior year's videos with the cyan colored bolt, it just really didn't show at all. So I'm re-recording this. We've placed our length related action sets in place. Let's look at the bolt diameter. So I'm going to use my stretch action. I'm going to uh, select my bolt. And this first option, here's my red X. I'll click on that as the end that I want to work on. And here's the difference when we think about a diameter. I'm going to need two different action sets. One action set that includes what's above the center line of the bolt and one action set for what's below the center line of the bolt. Meaning as I adjust the bolt diameter, the top portions will go up if I'm getting a larger diameter and the bottom portions will go down all at the same time. So I'm being asked by AutoCAD to give a uh, selection window right now. So I'll go up here above that smaller radius and come down past the end of the bolt, making sure that I include the ends of this shortened angular thread representation. Once I've clicked that in place, I'm going to use a crossing window. And notice some of those dimension parameters get stuck in here. Yeah, I don't really care. It, it's not going to have an impact. So I missed with my selection set these shortened lines. I just went back and picked them up. I will zoom in over here and select this smaller fillet radius. And those are the objects that I want in my bolt diameter upper action set. Press enter. And I'm gonna need to repeat this for the lower section. Back to stretch, bolt diameter, lower section, I'm going to zoom in pretty close so that I avoid um, accidentally snapping to something. I kind of want my selection window to be right between these two lines. So there's a start and here's a finish. And notice that the ends of the shortened lines are within my box. So here my crossing window works a little better because I don't have to cross any of those dimension parameters. I select the lower horizontal line, zoom in over here and add this smaller radius. And that's what I'm looking for. So I'm gonna press enter. And this bolt diameter now has two different selection action sets associated with it. And so if I were to adjust this, the top half would go up and the bottom half would go down. Um, and that's what we're going to do when we add some data to these lookup table, or when we add actions to our lookup tables. And, and we're going to save that for last. So in the next video, we will head to the other end of the bolt and, a, and apply two action sets, one to G, actually, I'm sorry, two action sets to G, and two action sets to G over 2. So I hope this is helpful and we'll see you in the next section.